Hey guys, my name is Hannah and I would say let's have some fun today. So today I thought I want to do a little bit more something like a talk video with you together and I will try to keep it relatively short but yeah basically what the video is all about let's phrase it like that I did go a little bit ham with my palette purchases for the last two months I would say and we will get to the reason but some of the palettes I bought I already have here and I want to talk with you about them and I want to talk with you about what I think about them, how much I used them until now and there are also some really new palettes in there so some of them I didn't touch that often but I wanna yeah, express my feelings about those palettes to you guys uh, as good as I can and some of them I purchased but they didn't arrive yet and I will put a picture of them somewhere here in the frame for you and I will also talk with you about those palettes and why I decided to buy them for myself and um, yeah so if it sounds good and interesting to you then stay tuned and I would say let's get started so before I show you any palette I will talk with you about why I bought so many palettes in the last two months say two to three months let's let's say it like that because I'm not sure what can I say? I went on a low buy mostly for palettes because palettes are my jam and they are stabbing right into my heart when I see them and when a palette is really beautiful and I can connect with that and I have so many things in my head which looks I want to do with the palette, what I want to wear with the palette and uh, we are all in the same boat that's why we are here together and so I decided to go on a low buy because I have so many beautiful palettes in my collection and I didn't really felt it at the time it was summertime I think around summertime and the thing is I uh, the thing that I noticed about myself is in the summertime I'm really not the big palette buyer because it's really sweaty it's really hot and I don't feel the need for more palettes because I'm choosing really lightweight colors that are not that heavy on my eyes that are a little bit more softer and I have all those palettes all those colors that I need for summer in my collection for sure and so I don't feel the need to buy any more palettes in the summertime but this is something that quickly changes when it's getting colder and colder and colder if you know what I mean so I feel then I suddenly more feel the vibes again. I want to play with colors again. I want to play with yeah, fall colors, with winter colors. And then I get all the feels again and I want to buy all those palettes. The funny thing about this is that those aren't really the newest palettes that I want most of the time. Um, most of the time when it's getting colder I really crave palettes I wanted for a longer time and suddenly they are on sale or something like that and I really crave those palettes in my life if you know what I mean so this is really the time when I go a little bit more ham with palettes buying but I try to stop myself at a certain point the thing is you know there's Christmas coming so I can wish for some palettes and my birthday is right after Christmas you could say so that is coming as well so I can also wish for palettes but I try to not overdo it with the palette wishing because then yeah you know where's the fun when I know what I will get every time so I try to keep it low with my palette wishes so I try to buy them for myself and not to let other buy me them but I wished for in fact two palettes this year for Christmas and for my birthday all in all it's two palettes and one from my boyfriend for Christmas that I will get and I will talk to you about this palette as well and one palette from my sister that I will get and of course we will talk about this one as well and yeah with that being said with all the craziness I will try after those palettes to go a little bit more low-key again with palettes buying but really I notice this every year that when it's getting colder and the time is right and the feeling is right 
my heart is craving really some new palettes in my life. It's just fun, it's really nice to play with new colors, with new formulas or with formulas that you know that you really love and you really thought so long about this palette and yeah. You know guys, I don't have to explain myself, You, I think we are all in the same boat like I told you and it's really hard sometimes to say no to a palette, but yeah. Without further ado, let's get into the video and I will tell you all about my beautiful new palettes in my life. Maybe let's start with those ones that aren't arrived yet, because then at the end you have something to look at a little bit more than just on the frame, if you know what I mean. So let's end with the good stuff. Okay, then let's start with the stuff that didn't arrive yet. Let's start with a brand that I really love and admire and I wished I had all the palettes. Okay, maybe not all the palettes, the newer release from them. I, I think it's cute but I don't need it in my life, if you know what I mean. So maybe not all, but mostly all of those palettes I wish I had in my collection, but it's not like that. And I'm also grateful that it's not like that because, you know, sometimes too much is too much. But for this reason, I really craved some more palettes from exactly this brand and it's Melt Cosmetics. I love them so much, I love their formula, I never had a problem with their formula, I understand some problems that some people have with some formulas from their palettes, but I think it's really all about adjust your technique to it and to make it work somehow. And yes, for that price you shouldn't work too much to get something beautiful on your eyes but to be completely honest i don't think i have to work that much to get something beautiful every time i'm using their, their palettes they're so pigmented so pigmented so nice so blendable and some shimmers are a little bit harder to work with and i will just use them when i know i have enough time on my plate to play a little bit with them but other than that if you know that you know which colors you can use when it have to go really quick uh, then i think you will be really okay and i I really 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 admire this brand. I have some palettes from them but I really felt the need to have some more so I also really want to do a new ranking with my melt palettes when it's time when I get my new palettes I test them out a little bit for a while you know then I really want to do a ranking with them as well and a new ranking and I also want to do, like I do right now on my channel, I do a little Pat McGrath series where I'm using all the beautiful Pat McGrath palettes that I have in my collection with you together. And I think I also really want to do this with my Melt palettes because I really, really love and admire this brand, like I told you. And um, I think it's really even with Pat McGrath. They are completely different formulas, completely different vibes. And I think for that I'm really appreciating both so much. I have every time a different kind of experience when I'm using Pat McGrath and when I'm using Melt and for this reason I think those are really my top top brands that I love. So I'm rambling really much today I'm so sorry this was supposed to be a really short video but let's go on and yeah the first palette I bought from Melt is this one right here the Gemini 2 palette and the reason I was on Beauty Base website and I saw that, that they have a sale and you can also get 15% off as well for the palettes if you spend $50 or more on that and I saw that as a sign to buy me this one I really really wanted this one for such a long time because I love red tones I love pinky red tones on my eyes I those are maybe one of my favorite colors to wear on my eyes and this is more like a grungy version of that so this one really pulled at my heartstrings at that time i couldn't forget about it and i really really wanted this one for such a long time and i tried to not buy this at first i thought no okay let's let's put the phone away let's not look at it anymore and let's forget about it and i hope that beauty bay will stop their sale in the next two days maybe so i can say okay now the sale is gone and it's okay but of course they didn't i don't know when i will post this video but right now they're having their sale they are not finished yet so the sale is going on for a really long time now and so i couldn't be strong anymore in the end let's 
let's say it like that and I bought this one for me and of course when you are calculating it this one was I think $45 so I'm not at the $50 mark yet and I had to buy something else to get there and because I'm such a melt lover and I want so many more pellets from them I thought okay maybe I should I should use this opportunity to get me another melt palette that I really wanted for such a long time and it's this one it's the she's in parties palette from melt and I bought them in a bundle and I got for both palettes a really really nice deal and on top of that deal I got the 15% off as an extra and the she's in parties palette I thought it's so beautiful, so fun and the only palette I really have that is going in that direction and that more smoky, cool, lilac direction is a palette from Colourpop and I will show it to you. It's this one, it's the Flutter by palette. Uh, I think it's really similar to the She's in Parties palette, but when I tried to swatch it out and to compare it to one another, I thought, okay, those are really beautiful, but those are more brownish mauve shades. Those are lilac -y in tone, but they have a brownish, coolish undertone to them. And the colors from the She's in Parties palette, those tones are really more leaning to the really coolish lilac -y mauve tones. So I would say there is a little difference in both palettes that I can justify to have the palette from Melt, the She's in Parties palette as well. And this is really my only palette that goes a little bit to the direction from the She's in Parties palette. But other than that, I don't have any more palettes that are leaning towards those colors. So I thought, okay, this is the palette that will make the most sense for me to have it also in my collection and I couldn't resist and bought this one as well. So, and because it will not stop right there, of course, I looked at some Instagram inspirations for the Melt Gemini 2 palette and then I also got so many pictures from the Gemini 1 palette. And initially I thought I don't need this palette, I don't of course, you never need a palette. But um, I thought, okay, you don't need this palette. You have the Rust palette from Melt and it's a really similar color story except the really black shade isn't in there and the greenish shades aren't in there. And let's pull it out, why not? Here's my Rust palette. Whoop. And here is the Gemini 1 palette. And you can see the color story is really similar and a side note, I love this palette. I love it so much. It's so beautiful and so it's so neutral, but in a but even though it's a really neutral palette, it is so special in some way and the colors are really special. They have a really nice warmish yellowish undertone in each shade and I really admire and love that. Um, but back to the main thing. Um, I thought this is really really similar and especially this you know this darkenish brownish shade right here could easily go as an almost blackenish shade as this uh, yellowy mustardy shade right here is extremely similar to the shade I think it's Lorelei I think the shade is called Lorelei in the Gemini 1 palette and yeah I thought those brownish shades are really similar to the first row in the Gemini palette the brown row but after I saw some pictures, some beautiful looks online. I couldn't resist anymore. I didn't want it to buy me the palette again from Beauty Bay because then the sale didn't have make sense anymore for me because then I would have paid more than I needed to, if you know what I mean. So I thought, okay, no, be strong, Hannah, don't buy it. It's okay. And suddenly after my thought, really, I I'm not kidding you. Someone offered this palette on eBay and it looked like new and it was for a really, really good price. And so I bought this one as well for me. And this was a really rushed buy. I won't lie about that. This one was a little bit more rushed than the other, than the other two palettes that I saw from Melt. But you know, I couldn't help it, so I bought it. And I'm really happy now that it's on my way. So I will have so many beautiful melt palettes now in my collection and I'm really fulfilled now with my melt palettes for 
now I think for a longer time now and I'm so happy about that and like I told you because of that I really I'm really tempted to do another melt ranking and also to do something like in melt palette series on my collection where I use all my beautiful matte palettes. So the last two palettes that aren't yet here and I will I will not get until Christmas and my birthday. The first one is for Christmas and I already told you about this one. It's this palette right here. The Mothership Midnight Sun palette. I really love this palette. I really love the color story. I really think this is a really beautiful beautiful fall-esque winter-esque palette and it's everything i need right now if you know what i mean so i wished for this one for christmas and we and it's bought directly from the pat mcgrath website so it will take a longer time to get here so we already yeah bought this one that i can have it for christmas and this is not even the palette that I was most excited about initially, but every time I go to the store, I told you the story already, but every time I go to the store and see the, the Pat McGrath palettes on display, every time my eyes are going immediately to the Midnight Sun palette. I really love those colors. The picture, I think it's not doing the palette justice, to be honest. When I look at the colors in the store, they are so glitzy, so glittery, so beautiful looking. And the colors are just so yummy and rich and vibrant. And I'm loving it for that. So I really knew I wanted this one for a longer time now. And as soon as I saw it on Pat McGrath's website for an exclusive offer, I wished for it because I love this palette so much and I really want to have it in my hands. I also want to do a new Pat McGrath ranking with my palettes, with all my palettes that I will have till then and this is also something I want to do for sure because I think some things had changed a little bit because now I used my palettes for a really long time now. I will get the new ones. I will also use them for a little bit until I'm doing that video. But really, I can tell you now that some things for sure have changed in my opinion, in my liking of those palettes. And I think I will rank them a little bit differently than I did the first time. So this is also something I really want to do. The last palette is a palette that I will get for my birthday and I also wished for it because it was also on Pat McGrath exclusive offer site and I saw this one. I wanted this one also for a really really long time and then I saw my chance right there. So this is the palette right here. It's from her I think last year or the year before. I'm not sure. I think it was the year before. So two years ago I think she released those palettes. And this is from her Celestial Divinity Lux Quad collection. I think it's, it was also a winter collection or a Christmas collection. And this is the interstellar icon quad right here that i really really love i already have the fleur fantasia one but i don't have the risky rose one the other two aren't available anymore but i really saw my chance to wish for the interstellar icon palette when i saw that it was on sale and the price dropped even more so I was really comfortable to wishing for this palette. So now let's come to the more fun part. I will show you the palettes that I already have in my collection. Some of them I didn't even show you yet and or maybe yeah some of them I didn't even show to you. And the first one is the LH Cosmetics Shimmer Saga palette and I did a beautiful beautiful look with you together with this palette. I love this one so much. Look at this, guys. It's really beautiful, I hope. The colors are picking nicely in the camera. I think this palette is so cute, so small, but so beautiful and stunning and glittery, guys. I love this one so much. The colors in here are different enough that you can see in each look you do a different outcome in your I look and I really appreciate and love that. I also, I'm also wearing the palette today um, in combination with another palette that I will show you in a sec. But this is the 
color I'm wearing right now. It's the color Passion right here, this bluish tone. And I'm wearing it at the outer part of my upper lid area and it's really beautiful and glittery. I love it. And yeah, I'm really appreciating this little guy right here. I'm using it so often to topping off a look, to make it even more sparkly and to give it a little bit more shebang, if you know what I mean. So yeah, really appreciating this palette for those days I'm needing a little bit more of glitter in my life. So love this one very, very much. And I'm, I don't regret it at all that I bought this palette. I really love this one and I think it's, such a beautiful, beautiful palette from Linda Hallberg and I can more than recommend this one to you. If you are a glitter lover, a fan of glitters, if you are wearing them relatively often or you need a palette that you want to include in your collection, if you have those days where you are craving a little bit more of a glittery eyelid, so you have this one on hand and it's beautiful for that. It's really, really small, really compact and you can travel also really easily with this one. The next one is the palette that I'm also wearing on my eyes today and it's the Christmas Eve palette from Odin's Eye. I'm wearing this color Ice Crystal all over my lid basically and also a little bit on the outer part of my lower lash line and I, I blended this one out with the color Nowhere and I really love this coolest shade as well and the color Nowhere I also spread this color all over my lower lash line and I topped the colors off with Wonderful on the front part of my lid and on the outer part I, I put a little bit of blue ice on and I topped the blue ice shade off with my LH Cosmetics palette, the passion color. And also the color Wonderful I put a little bit on my inner corner so that the look is complete. I really love this one, I really love the look that I created today and yeah. I'm convinced that I'm a little fan of this guy right here. I have to say the only thing I noticed, it's really something small, it's not drastic at all, but this color right here, the color Wonderful, is really, really strongly pressed in the pan. So it's a little bit harder to work with this color. It's a little bit, it could be a little bit looser in the pan, if you know what I mean, so that you can more easily took the color out of it. You have to scribe a little bit more in the color or go a little bit stronger in with your finger to get the most payoff of this shade. This is really the only thing I noticed, but other than that, I really love this palette and if you know how to use this color, you can create something really beautiful with it. It took a little bit time to get there because I had to really scrub my brush in there. But it's beautiful anyways, guys. I love it. I'm not mad that I bought this. I really love the color story. I want to create also, like I told you, a winter look with you together. And I'm really happy about it. And I, I have so much fun to create looks with this palette. We will be done in a second. The next palette is my Colourpop Hocus Pocus 2 palette. I wanted this one, I told you about this one, that I wanted this one. It was sold out on their website, it came back and after it came back I immediately bought it. I really like my look that I did with this palette. I did it off camera for myself because I wanted some playtime with this palette. Um, but to be honest, I just used this one one time and I had so many new palettes in my collection, some other ones I really wanted to use again, so I didn't get the chance to use it more often but I really want to do it and the next I already know my look that I want to do next it's really something like in this row here something orangey orangey pumpkin-y vibes so here's the very first palette from Colourpop and Hocus Pocus and I have to be honest with you guys this will forever be my favorite Hocus Pocus palette from the Colourpop line because this is right up my alley. The tones are so grungy, so beautiful, so fall-like. And this is a more pumped up version, if you know what I mean. This is a more brighter, colorful, in your face version of this one. And I'm appreciating this one a little bit more than this one, but I love them both. I love my Hocus Pocus palettes, okay guys? I'm, I never can be mad about a color pop palette that I want because it's my guilty pleasure somehow and I'm I'm not hiding it, you know? And I like this palette so far and I can't say any negative about it. Just the fact that I need to use it a little bit more and 
yeah, I will. I will definitely. The last one is a palette maybe no one thinks about anymore. I don't know. It's a palette from a YouTuber that many people admired or are admiring right now. And she's back for some time now. She was gone for a while because there was some drama, blah, blah, blah. You know, all the gist, I'm not really into that stuff, but she's back now. This is the Tati Beauty palette. I have to be honest with you, I don't really watch Tati Beauty. She is not the content I'm watching. It's not because I don't like her, I just don't watch her. But what was for a real long time on my radar was her palette. Not because of the name, just because of the inside, because of the glitters because of everything, because of the execution of this palette. It's beautiful. I won't use it on camera because, or not that often at least, because I know the palette isn't available anymore, you can't get it. But oh guys, I'm, I'm really not mad at all that I bought this one. I'm so happy about it. I used it very often until now and I didn't have it even for that long in my collection. I love it, guys. I love also the big mirror. It's really big and nice and you can see everything so clearly. And guys, this is such a beautiful palette. I'm really in love with it. I really love the glitters. Those are some really special glitters. They're holding so well. I think they are right away mixed up with a mixing medium in the pan so they are holding really nicely on the on their own if you're applying them with a finger no problem at all they're holding they're staying and they're looking beautiful i love it i won't end about this one for too long because i know you can't get it anymore i never want i never bought this one because it wasn't available anymore at the time that i really wanted it and i was sad about it but i thought okay i won't pay 85 dollars for the palette on ebay because i think this is not okay if you already use the palette and yeah want so much money for it for a used palette i'm i'm not into that so it wasn't an option for me but and the time goes on and on and on you know and i forgot a little bit about that palette and then that one day I got a notification and I thought okay let's see what's there and it was a, it was such a good price and the the person that was the owner of this palette even lived here had the chance to meet up with her and directly buy this palette off of her hands so I couldn't resist at all I couldn't guys this is so beautiful and I can't hold it anymore because it's a little bit heavy, <laughs> but I love this palette so much. It's, it's such a stunning palette. It's such a beautiful palette. It's right up my alley. I really want to do a look with this colors right here with those really beautiful blackish bluish shades right here. Of course, I'm already thinking about my new year look and I really want to do something with this row at that time. It's really calling my name. I already did so many looks with it, but this row is untouched. But I really want to do something with this row as well. Love it, love it, love it. I'm not mad that I bought it. Not at all. And I also want to do step up my Instagram game a little bit. I really want to do more looks on my side. I really want to show you some more looks on the side. I really want to give you a little bit more on, on there, so... I really want to try to step up my Instagram game for sure. I'm so sorry. I know I never post right there, but I really want to show you some looks that I'm doing with my new palettes, with my old palettes. I really want to step up my game there. So this is a process, but I hope I will get there and I hope I will find the motivation to post a little bit more there than I'm doing now. So that's that. And yeah guys i before i will go thank you so much the newest video of mine with the owns eye palette was really nice received of you and i got some more followers and i'm really happy about that thank you about your lovely comments thank you that my channel is growing little by little and yeah you know better like that than nothing happened so i'm really grateful and I hope you liked my videos. If you like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up that I know that you want more of that. Subscribe my channel if you haven't already and maybe also click on the little bell so that you get notified every time I post something new on this channel. And thank you again so, so much. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate that 
you leaving so many nice comments and that you are just that you are just a nice community overall i'm really feeling welcomed i'm really feeling good and i'm i have really fun to put out some more videos because of that because of you and thank you very much and with that being said guys i hope we will see each other in my next video and until then bye